everyone, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's Wild About Art. So today I'm going to do an acrylic painting of a tiger for you. So this is something a little bit different and I'm doing him facing the front walking towards us. And yeah, I just start with the outline drawing with my mechanical pencil and I make adjustments as I need to until I get the proportions exactly where I want them. Then I add the stripes and then I will start with the colour. Now I start on the background and I start with yellow oxide and white and I run that completely over the background and then I'll add a purpley shadow colour into the areas that are going to be shadowed in the background. Now I'm starting on the tiger's eyes and I go in with cadmium yellow and I'll also add a little bit of orange that I make with cad red, cad yellow and then some black around the trims of the eyes and in the pupils. Now I start to add the black around the trim of the lips, so it's more of a grey around the trim of the lips, the trim of the ears and anywhere that's going to have the dark stripes. And then I'll build up the layers, so I start with a grey and I get darker and darker as I go along. Now I start on the tiger and I go in with a little bit of Indian yellow hue and I add a little bit of white and um, I take that around the whole tiger anywhere that's going to be the golden colour. Now I start to add a little bit of transparent red oxide and a little bit of yellow and it just makes it slightly warmer um, and I take that around the darker areas of the tiger and I start to build up the colours, um, all different shades of, of reddy orange and reddy gold uh, right throughout the whole tiger's body and I will have the tiger darker on the left side than the right side because the right is in full sun.
Now I go in and I start to add, strengthen up the darks. So I go in with black with a little bit of blue in it um, just to soften the black. I don't like just a flat black colour. So I add a little bit of Prussian blue to it and I take that around all the dark stripes on the tiger. Now I start to strengthen up the shadows underneath the big cat. So I make a slightly stronger purple and I take that over uh, the main dark areas in the shadow areas that I'd done in a light purple earlier. And I build it up darker and darker um, until I'm happy with the shading and the shadow areas. And I'll make a very, very deep dark purple for the very front of the foreground um, as I go along. I'm, as you can see, I'm just putting a few more shadows underneath the tiger and I build those up and darken them up until I'm happy. So now I go back and start working on the tiger again with a bit more of the transparent red iron oxide and I work that into all the areas around the tiger's darker, darker parts of his body, so on the um, front of his legs, on the left hand side of his body, around the trims of his feet, um, around his toes and those sort of areas and I darken all of that up and just create some more depth and warmth. And then I go back to work on the shadow areas and I strengthen them up a little bit more and then I start to lighten up the insides of the tiger's legs and add some highlights around the right hand side and anywhere that I can see highlights on him. Now I go back in and I add the lightest lights and the darkest darks and fine tune any of the shading that I want to add or take away um, and just refine the shadows and the fur on the tiger. So I'm nearly at the end of this painting guys so I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'd love it if you click like and subscribe and click on the bell icon that way you'll be notified when I release a new video. Excitingly I also have a website um, where I will sell all my original artworks uh, at jensworldaboutart.com which will be linked below. Um, I also live stream up to seven days a week uh, where I'd love it if you come hang out and chat on my Twitch channel at Wild Gen Arty Gamer. also will be linked down below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching everyone. Have an awesome day and I will see you all next video. Okie doke, I'll see you then.